Cut out a paper cone template, lay it on a clay, clay slab and carefully cut it out. Move the clay towards the edge of the table and carefully cut the edge at a 45 degree angle. Work with the clay on its side like a volcano shape. This will stop the clay falling apart and help it keep its shape. Score and slip both edges. Gently attach the edges and smooth over the joint so it's well attached. Close one end off by placing it on a slab and cutting around it. Score and slip. And then attach and smooth so it's well joined together. Place to store it in an airtight box or plastic bag so it doesn't dry out and it'll be ready to work on next lesson. Lightly scratch your name or initials so you can identify your work next time. When the clay has hardened a little bit, you can cut a slot for your phone. Be sure to make the slot a little bit bigger than it needs to be because the clay will sh often shrink by about 20 to 30%. Once you finish this stage, you can think of a unique design for your work. Try to use a variety of forms and textures to make your work stand out and make it distinctive. When your work is finished, leave it to dry for at least 10 days. Once your work is dry, it can be fired and then glazed. Choose a combination of different colors for your work. Make sure you paint at least three layers of glaze and be sure not to glaze the bottom of your work, otherwise it will stick to the kiln. Once your work has been fired a second time, you can now enjoy your creation and take it home. <laughs>